opinions, everyone's a critic. So give us a call on our hotline, 888-859-1800. Got original 1965 Ford Galaxy AM radio. Uh, this radio is in pretty good shape. Uh, we've gone through it. Uh, repolished all the, the push buttons, redone the background. Uh, these are a set of knobs off old radio I had. And uh, we've done a full Aurora design conversion. It now has AM, FM, stereo. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got a pre-out on it if you want to add a sub. Uh, auxiliary in, which is automatic. That means you can plug anything into it. It'll automatically change over. Uh, satellite radio, XM radio, uh, CD changer, phone, iPods, whatever you want to. Uh, it also has a USB port. This is your harness you'll be getting. You can you put this in a round hole or use a bracket. This will also play a thumb drive that you will be getting with this video on it, some music. And uh, this will also charge your devices, your phone and all. And right above here is where you plug in your auxiliary in. You'll be getting a male to male cord in the package, so you can plug anything into it you want to. Uh, it also has a scan. It will scan your stations for you. I'll demonstrate that. Uh, it has voice ID, uh, Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, voice command. I mean, it's fully loaded. Right now, because it was a sorrowful time. Right here you got a little operating LED, it changes the multiple colors depending on what you have the radio doing. Over here you got a stereo light. Yeah. Lights up when you find a stereo yeah. channel. And and they're Right now you're on FM. Uh, if you want to go to AM radio, just simply turn the unit off and right back on. The light went to red. Put you on AM channels. Off and right back on, teach right back to FM stereo. Essential stages in the soul's journey toward wholeness. Uh, we got all your presets set up so you can pull them out and you still use presets. Let's set one up. There we go. So you got all them. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how to put it in the scanning mode. We're gonna let it scan a few stations. I will show you how to lock on a station. I'll show you how to eat, actually even find where that station is, in case you want to preset it, so you can mark it. And then I'll show you how the voice ID works. First thing you're gonna do is uh, actually take your tuning knob and turn the needle up twice. Scanning for stations. All right, it's going to start scanning for stations without the needle move. He prayed and he trusted Christ as his Savior. So Emma has that. We're going to let it scan a few. It's good if you go down the road, you don't have to fool with it. If you're out of town, you're looking for a station. Hey, Johnny Erickson, Tyler. Sometimes life doesn't make sense. You've hit it. You notice the little LED is blinking. That means it's in the scanning mode. So you like that station there, so all you're going to do is take the tuning knob and turn it up once. Station hold. She's going to hold right this station or right after she says that, you go quiet, you can turn it and find it. Pull out a preset and you have it. That's how your scanning works. It will do this on AM and FM. Uh, it also has voice ID. Now you got an AM radio, AM dial, you're on FM, you like where you at, take the volume knob, turn it up three times. 
FM 92.5. So that's called Voice ID, which is pretty cool. Uh, now we're going to do auxiliary in. All you do is to take your little cord out and turn your device on, whatever it is. Hit play and it automatically changes over. A little light's gone to green. Anytime you're on an auxiliary device, green light, and you want to come off of it, go back to the road, just simply turn your device off. And in 20 seconds, the radio will actually change back over by itself. If you want, if you don't want to wait to 20 seconds during that time, just turn it off and back on, like your Psychum by EM and FM. It cancels that 20 seconds down to where whenever you do that. We're gonna let it automatically change back. Change back over. That's how your auxiliary end works. Uh, now we're gonna do uh, the pairing up of our phone and you will do the same thing. It'll take multiple devices, and uh, but it'll always pick number one. So if you're a primary driver, that's the one you wanna do. Take a little uh, button here. These work together. Hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. It'll show up on our phone, there it is. All you gotta do is tap on it, she'll tell you when it's done. Makes us alive again. Makes a pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Behold. Now we're gonna do a voice command, and you notice the little buttons lit up. You can also pair your phone up by turning your volume knob up twice. Now that we've got it paired up, you can use your volume knob up twice to summon your phone up. Call home, look up directions, whatever you want to do. Uh, you have a built-in mic right here which I found them to be very good. You also get extra mic in case your car is convertible or a little bit loud and you want to get it closer to you and plug it in where it says mic and move it closer to you. Let's do a voice command. We're going to check this mic out. Hold the button down. Play music. Now we're going to music on my phone. I think we are. There it is. Now if you want to advance your songs, press it once. Twice to back up or repeat, depends on how long you're in the song. You can also do it with the tuning knob. Turn it up. You can go back. You can do it with the push buttons. As long as that needle moves, it will change your phone and your thumb drive. We're going to do that in a minute. Now I said you can do it with the volume knob. You can hold this thing down and bring your phone up or you can do it with the volume knob. And the phone call comes in. All you got to do is press this once to answer the call or take your tuning knob and turn it up one click. When you're done, if you want to end the call, turn this down or hit this twice or just let the phone hang up. It will go back doing whatever you had the radio doing. These radios do not require 12 volt consistent to them. They have no batteries changed, no memory you have to worry about. So uh, it will not drain your battery. If you decide to store your car and take your battery out or turn it off, don't worry, when you turn it back on, the radio was right back doing what we had it doing. All right, that's how you work your phone and all. Let's go back to radio, let's use, uh, let's use this. Stop music. Right back, right back to the radio. That's how your Bluetooth and everything works. Uh, next test we gotta do, we're gonna shut it off and make sure when you turn it on after you do the initial pair up every time you get in your car and have your phone with you, she'll come on there and say Bluetooth connected. It'll pick number one. If the number one phone's not there, it'll go to the second one if you haven't the second one paired up to it. So all we gotta do is turn it on. Bluetooth connected. There we go. 
Now we're connected up. Uh, we're gonna do the thumb drive now and you'll get one of these with video on it, music. All you do is plug it in. Now, a lot of people like hide these because you can operate it from here and here. So you really don't have to see this unless you just want to. Only time you gotta take this out if you wanna charge your device. So glove box is a good place for it. Put it in, go straight to it. Same way changing your song, press it once to advance. Or I can do it here too. Advance, back up, back up. Now if you want to go to pause, you can say you got this hid, there's two ways of doing it. We went up twice here, but summer's a phone up. We can do it once with a push button, one second. Put it in pause, right back to radio. Same way as summons it up with your push button. Hold it down one second, go right back to the thumb drive. Or we can use the volume knob. Go down twice. Right back to the thumb drive. Down twice, put it right back in pause. Multiple ways of working it. I like that in case you're you're in a car that you can't get this, this push button close enough to you. All right, we're gonna go back to thumb drive and we'll show you how to work the balancing fader for your speakers. All right, we're back on it. Now, if you hook up two speakers, you'll have a stereo light and you'll have balance built in your toner. If you hook up three or more, you'll have stereo light, balance, and fader. And the way you use them, we're wide open treble, wide open bass. Go about to find the middle of it, back it up a little bit. You're gonna go counter, you're gonna go clockwise, like a 12 to two motion to get it in the fader. Once she says in the fader adjust, as long as you're moving this, you can fade from front to rear. Do you find what you like to stop? She'll set it. Let me get another little song going on here. One, two. Fader adjust. There's the rears, fronts. We're gonna fade it out so I can hear all four speakers. Right there, let her set it. Fader set. All right, now we're gonna go into balance counterclockwise like a 12 to 10 motion. One, two. Balance adjust. Right side, left side. Let's balance it out. Right there, let her set it. Balance set. And now we're back on treble and bass. That's how you do that. Bounce and fader. Depends on how many speakers you put in. If you put a model one speaker in the car, your stereo light won't light up and you'll ever shove everything into that one speaker, which is fine. That's what it's supposed to be. That's your original 1965 Galaxy Ford with a full roar design conversion in it. Uh, really appreciate you letting me uh, do it for you. Thank you. <laughs>